Yeah, Joel, this new budget is just over $2 billion. So it's more than 10% higher than last year's budget. And though the tax rate is significantly lower than last year, the increase in property value still means a higher tax bill for many Wake County homeowners. With 51 people moving to Wake County every day, it's the third fastest growing county in the country. To keep up, the budget is growing too, to fund more sheriff's deputies, more ambulances, more child welfare workers. But the biggest expense that continues to grow, education. More than half of the $2 billion budget is heading straight to Wake County Public Schools, Wake Tech Community College, and a preschool program. Wake County schools will now get 9% more money from the budget than they received last year, 58.3 million more dollars, about 5 million less though than what school board leaders asked for. It will fund 4% raises, a $20 per hour minimum wage for bus drivers, and a $17.75 per hour minimum for non-certified staff. Now the tax rate is down overall from last year fairly significantly by about 14 cents per $100. They were able to lower the rate by so much because the property valuations have gone up significantly. The county will still earn hundreds of millions more in revenue in the upcoming year to address the rising costs of a growing county. All right, so let's talk about your property tax bills. If you're part of the 53% of Wake County homeowners who saw an increase in your valuation earlier this year, there is a good chance you will still pay more in taxes in the upcoming year. We tell you how to calculate that on our website, abc11.com.